and I feel like this particular just this note is just so manipulative like it's so manipulative it's not an apology at all it's backhanded and I just feel like just certain texts and conversations and the way it's left like why would you leave you know misleading kind of guilt-ridden victim state mentality related sentences in the last words of this note to make people think that maybe you know oh okay and the story I just feel like sorry I find that just to be bottom bow scum to just talk like that that behavior should not be tolerated um at all like I'm so sorry like I don't need I like it's just I don't know this video is gonna be a long video hopefully you guys let me know what you guys think but she's trying number one she is being dragged heavily for this video and rightly so the video was not needed um it really wasn't you're just pointing out bad vibes for no reason just for a few views or some clout or something like this and this is not what you should be doing to, for desperation of views or clout then you shouldn't even be on YouTube you shouldn't even be on you shouldn't have a platform where this is what you're doing to commentating is that it was always harsh it was always there is no excuse there's no excuse there is absolutely um, no reason yeah in any circumstances under any situation at all that this should be tolerated under any situation and then even after someone has effed up yeah even after someone has effed up and has come on the internet to apologize and they have their tail between their legs and they feel shame and embarrassment and they're crying at home because they made a silly split sit second or they made uh, you know when you make you just make a poor decision right even when someone has made a poor de decision online and has come and has been dragged through the mud and has and has now thought okay oops i shouldn't have done that and they've come online and they've apologized and behind the scenes they're crying in their mommy's lap they're crying in their mommy's lap crying and crying and crying and crying and crying because everybody on twitter is calling them a uh, good for nothing this a uh, good for nothing that you on top of that you add pepper you add salt you add seasoning you add chili peppers you add you add you add you add you add you say there is no there is no excuse there's no excuse okay there's no excuse there's no reason we're not having it. We're not tolerating it. And in fact, you even have the audacity on top of all of that to say to people, you should not be on YouTube. <laughs> Take your own advice. Take your own advice. You should eat your own words. You should not also be on YouTube because you are a hypocrite and you have been putting, you, ha you have been doing nonsense. Just have to say one more thing, guys. You know, when he's like, Oh, she's being dragged and rightly so. Well, Murad, rightly so that you're being dragged. How does it feel, sweetheart? Oh, oh, yes, rightly so. Enjoy every little bit of that. Every little DM you get, every single private message you get, every single essay, every single person that cusses you. Enjoy it. Live in it. Marinade in it. Breathe in it. Feel it. Feel it in your soul. Feel it in your, feel it in your soul. Feel it in your body. Feel it. Feel it. Enjoy it. Ravel in it, isn't it, darling? Because what did you say? I should be dragged, and rightly so, baby. It is your turn. So rightly so, you should be dragged, baby, and you enjoy it, baby. You enjoy it. You enjoy every single minute, every single second. You ravel in that dragging, baby. <laughs> These are your words, sweetheart. These are your words, sweetheart. These are your words, not mine. These are your words. Eat that shit up. Eat it. Surfing. Please on your tongue like an ice cream. Every ten is subscribing. You know what? FCG with heavy. So, this is a video I didn't expect to be doing, but to be honest with you, I just felt like it just needed to be done. Um, there's several reasons. Oh, let me squish here. There are several, several, sev I can't even speak. There are several reasons why I thought it was important for me to do this video. One of the reasons being that I ain't no punk. Let's just, let's just, let's just be, let's just be straight. Let's just be honest. I mean, I ain't no punk. The thing is with, with Lani, if you don't know it already, I never forget. So if you do me dirty, by the way, I'm in my sister's room again. But, you know, I just thought it's nice to switch it up. But anyway, if you do me dirty, 
if you are rude about me, if you are cheeky about me, I don't forget and I'm waiting for the day to pow pow. You understand? Pow pow. I'm waiting, 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 lurking. Do you get it? So, to be honest, this just fits my brand because me, I don't let this go. Okay? I'm a hold a grudge forever. Okay? Period. Okay, oh, let me just brush my hair. Okay, so, um, where do we begin? So, um, before we get into that, I'm going to talk about him in a second, right? But before we get into it, what I would like you guys to do for me is I would like a bit of advice. Um, it's going to be sound really random, but I have um, been given an opportunity to do something weird. Yeah. And you will see it soon. But basically, with this weird thing I'm doing, I can't exactly take luxuries so I'm not allowed like um, I'm allowed the bare necessities so I just want tips guys on like I usually wear strip lashes I want I want tips on like the best lash place to go when my lashes won't come out imagine doing a challenge where you just have to go as you are and just you can't bring anything so yeah I just want any tips like where's the best place for me to get my lashes done um, things of that nature um yeah is that it yeah i just i can't really elaborate read between the lines <laughs> you know what i mean i don't want to look hideous i've been working on my skin um right now i'm peeling so if you see a bit of weirdness down there i'm actually peeling my face, whole face is peeling but um like my skin is in the best condition it's ever been in well since i was a baby um so yeah, I'm actually going to put a video up on all the stuff I've done to get my skin A1. Um, I have to get my skin A1. Like I said, I'm going somewhere where I have the bare necessities. Um, I read between the lines. So yeah, I just need to like clear my skin. Anyway, we're moving out. We're moving on. Let's get to the meat and the potatoes of why you're here. The rice and the stew, yeah? Of why you're here. We're going to talk about Murad. I know I'm a few days late, but I feel like I've really marinated on the situation. And I've actually seen a lot of opinions online. Especially on TikTok. I've seen bare opinions. So I feel like I've got like, um... I feel like I've heard everybody out. You know, it's almost like I've been in batch. I've heard everybody out. I've heard everyone's opinions. And I've come to my own conclusion. Okay. So... First and foremost, for people that don't know, the reason I'm not uh, Murad's greatest fan is because I feel like Murad has, there has been times with Murad who could have been, could have shown me a little bit more grace and he didn't. Um, the thing is, yeah, I'm more of a realist than most people online. I feel like, the thing I don't like about people online is people online are very fake. Let me explain what I mean by that. Everybody online, especially women, they try and act, you know, I feel like women are very, um, and men, everyone's very, like, they, everyone just chats a lot of nonsense and rubbish. And everyone pretends like they are perfect. Everyone pretends that they don't chat rubbish about others. Everyone pretends that they are angels. This is fake. Um, behind the scenes, people are slutting it out. People are rude. People are disrespectful, people are snakes, people are cheat, cheating on their boyfriends and their partners. No one's perfect, you know what I mean? Um, all people want from people is people with growth, people who are willing to change, people who are human, but people who not necessarily are perfect, but people who um, have empathy and people who are just not to the core um, hypocrites and devils, okay? Um, I don't, I don't, I, I feel like that's all people want. I actually think people like Murad who um, create this image. I, I've been saying this. People who create an image of being perfect and they don't show imperfections. And when I say imperfections, I mean being raw, being uncut, being unfiltered, not like not showing emotions. People who are very fake online, I think have the worst um, fools when it comes especially when it comes to scandals because what happened with people like this is they have presented a perfect image online made them seem by the way there's nothing wrong with being perfect if you are perfect if you are a saint if you are a priest and you're actually perfect there's nothing wrong with acting like you're perfect because you, you're perfect right you're a good person be like you but when you are not a good person in totality right 
should I say it loud for people in the back? When you're not a good person in totality and really you're actually a demon, but you present yourself holier than thou. And then on top of all of that, on top of all of that, you have the audacity. You have the audacity. You have the audacity to talk about other people's behavior to talk about other people's behavior, to judge other people. That would be your biggest downfall. I just got, I don't know, I, I was supposed to marinate this, but I feel like I just got straight into it. Let me, let me tell you guys something. For me, for me, it is not an issue. It is not an issue. Okay, this is, this, is, this is just my opinion, do not shoot me. This is my opinion. Lani, okay? You don't have to have the same opinion as me. This is my opinion. For me, for me, yeah? I don't really think kinks can go too far. And yeah, 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 you guys might disagree. Oh God, yeah, 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 I can feel the dagger's coming right now. But for me, yeah? Um, kinks can't really go too far. People have weird kinks. It is what it is. Well, f didn't it? They need, they need, they need, they need, they need to talk to someone. They need savior. Okay, they need Christ. What can you do? People have kinks. If somebody, if two people, I can't. Uh, what's the word? Consensually. If two people consensually decide that they want to um, beat each other up, rub poo on each other, okay, and. Um, call each other the n-word and they're both white yeah i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't give a damn okay i don't for me just me i don't really give a f if people have weird even i would say demeaning disrespectful um offense even I, I guess i could even say offensive like you, okay so you guys know obviously you know this but you guys know that there's such a um there is a I don't want to say I don't want to I don't want this video to get um, you know so I'm gonna say an ink you know what that means you guys know that there's an ink where people um, like a genuine ink where people um, like to feel less than yeah they, they like to feel hum, who humiliated yeah that's a real thing yeah um, and some people I don't know why they want to but they do they they want to feel less than they want to feel this small they want you to punch them in the face and tell them and tell them you you are nothing there are people that, that that that's that's their thing I've actually got approached on snapchat by people asking me to they literally say I'll pay you to kick me in my you know yeah okay people say I would pay you to kick me in my okay people have told me that people have told me that and let me tell you something sis I have considered it Someone told me, yo, Lonnie, buck me, kick me in my butt. Oh, that's it, just kick me in my butt. And I'll give you a grand. I have considered it, girl. I'm not gonna be here and be fake with you. Me, I'm not fake, I'm not a liar. I have definitely considered it. I called my friend. I was just like, this guy just said this. For a grand. I can go on holiday. Should I do it? And my, sister, my, my friend's like, yeah. yeah, 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 do it. But the thing is with me is I'm shook and I'm a scaredy cat. And I don't like putting myself in um, situations that are dangerous. Meeting a strange man on Snapchat is dangerous. Let's just call a spade a spade. Yeah? Unless you're going to go there with all your boys, like, chances are you're going to end up... Sometimes you might be fine, but I feel like there's a really high percentage that like, you're not going to be fine, okay? Or you're not going to get paid. You, it's just, it just doesn't, it's just, you know, you have to be smart in life, okay? So... The point I'm trying to make is I don't actually give a up what these people do, okay? That's fine. I don't even, I'm not even bothered about the, 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 the fact that he used racial slurs, yeah, in his videos. I, I don't have, I don't care, basically is what I'm trying to say. This is what I care about. This is what I care about. This is what I think is bad, yeah? You guys don't have to agree with me. This is just my opinion. This is why I'm so rattled by this situation. It is the hypocrisy for me. It is the hypocrisy for me. I think the hypocrisy for me makes it an audacity. Do you know when someone does some audacity that is so... Ooh, the audacity of you! <laughs> oh my god! The audacity of this man. This is like... It's just the audacity. 
audacity. Like, it's the, I, I can't, oh my God. The audacity, the audacity, the cheek. What did they say, the cheek, the be, the be begal. I said people say that. <laughs> Don't people say the be begal or something like that? The cheek and the be begal of it all. I'm sure that's English, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's the audacity and the baby girl all of it. For me, what makes this bad is you had the cheek to open your stinking mouth. To open your stinking mouth and to judge me. <laughs> What's that? You had the cheek to open your mouth. To open your mouth. And to judge others you had the cheek me Lani, am i perfect absolutely not absolutely not i am not perfect sis i am weird i'm a weird person i have a weird sense of humor there are many things i could do and say that people will find offensive but the thing is with me is my brand is a flawed one i'm human but you presented your brand, you are doing Freedom Warrior, always speaking about social justice, social issues. There's nothing wrong with giving your opinion um, and giving people pointers. The problem with this boy's commentating is that it was always harsh. It was always, there is no excuse. There's no excuse. There is absolutely um, no reason. Yeah? In any circumstances, under any situation at all, that this should be tolerated. Under any situation. And then even after someone has effed up, yeah? Even after someone has effed up and has come on the internet to apologize. And they have their tail between their legs and they feel shame and embarrassment. And they're crying at home because they made a silly split sit second or they made... Uh, you know when you make... You just make a poor decision, right? Even when someone has made a poor de decision online and has come and has been dragged through the mud and has and has now thought, okay, oops, I shouldn't have done that. And they've come online and they've apologized and behind the scenes they're crying in their mommy's lap. They're crying in their mommy's lap. Crying and crying and crying and crying and crying because everybody on Twitter is calling them a uh, good for nothing this, a uh, good for nothing that. You, on top of that, you add pepper, you add salt, you add seasoning, you add chili peppers, you add, you add, you add, you add, you add. You say there is no, there is no excuse. There's no excuse, okay? There's no excuse, there's no reason. We're not having it. We're not tolerating it. And in fact, you even have the audacity on top of all of that to say to people, you should not be on YouTube. <laughs> Take your own advice. Take your own advice. You should eat your own words. You should not also be on YouTube because you are a hypocrite and you have been putting, you, ha you have been doing nonsense. People do not like the fact that you use racial slurs. People, at the end of the day, no matter what I think, because I don't even, I don't care that he does that. People don't like it. People have not people have not liked some of the stuff I've done and I didn't, never, I, I didn't even mean it in malice. And guess what? I was like, oops, my bad. I had to apologize. I felt like poo. Now it is your turn. We have seen that you, social justice warrior, who is talking and talking and talking and talking and judging others. You also, you do things behind the scenes you're not perfect you have done stuff that have behind the scenes that is very vile very pepper very oh it's not it's not good and you now what should you be on youtube delete your youtube channel delete it because you told me to delete mine you delete your youtube channel delete your youtube channel exactly anyway i think i'm having too much <laughs> oh god i'm a petty petty hoe Oh God, I'm a pity, pity hoe. I think we're having too much fun with this video. Uh, that deserve, you know, and when I say I mean to unalive yourself. There's few things in life that deserve that. This is not one of them. This guy does not deserve to unalive himself. Yeah, I'm just getting my dig back because he got his dig at me. But do I believe that he should be cancelled off the planet? No, of course not. Um. To be honest with you, if, if you, his supporters, because some of you watching this probably be a fan of his. If you, if you love him and you want to support him, you have every right. You have every right. You have every right to forgive whoever you want to forgive. Every, nobody, let me tell you something. Nobody in this world has a better judge of character or is smarter than another person. You can be that one person in the world saying, I think the world is flat. 
think the world is flat and guess what you might be right in a hundred years time people find out that you was right all along the point i'm trying to make is um if you decide that it's a forgive if he's actually a good person and he he did it because he was desperate and all these types of things and you want to forgive him and you want to support him that's your business you can do that okay you can you can do that sis you do you me personally i never watch his channel so it's not gonna affect me now i do not yeah so i oh god like i've literally like, the point i'm trying to make is the consequences here that is it's not my business it's god's it's god's business the consequences yeah it is not my business okay it's not my business okay it is god's business what happens to you but all i'm going to say is do not unalive yourself it is not that deep okay no i saw a perfect comment online no one has died no one has died do not unalive yourself we don't like a hypocrite we don't tolerate it but no one it's not that deep for you to unalive yourself just sit in the shame sit in the shame talk to god he will he will he will tell you what to do next okay he will, he will you know he will just you know call him on the phone said god i really effed up but you just say out like that it's not my business <laughs> it's not my business um yeah oh guys it is what it is you know hey and guys have you noticed something for my followers god really loves me let me tell you why god loves me yeah this year and this year alone i have got my vengeance back on 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 on, on, on mark do you remember that bastard mark what he did to me hey it was revealed it was revealed and he got dragged in the mud and this year it's no more rot it's coming guys it's all a lead up slowly by slowly god is just for me it's for me and guys you know guys you know you know you know you know you know the day the day of redemption i don't know is that the right word i don't even know what's a word of the best day of your life what is a word for the best day of your life i'm just going to call it the day of re re rejoicement i'm going to call it the day of rejoicement the day of rejoicement the day of rebirth yeah the day you know i will be enjoying myself enjoying myself to the full is the day that one bastard hey when something happens to you my friend just know i will be rejoicing and you guys know who i'm talking about unless you're thick you know who i'm talking about okay i feel like god is slowly i feel like god is giving me my starters with mark and with murad this is starters it's nice <laughs> it's nice it's been nice i've enjoyed it I had mm, mm, Mark. It was nice. It was tasty. It was uh, 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 when you guys were drinking Mark. I was I was enjoying myself. <laughs> I was enjoying myself. Uh, uh, uh. And then Murad, I was enjoying myself. Uh, uh, uh. It started as my main course. I don't know who it to be. <laughs> I look forward. I don't know who it will be. I look forward to it. And then. The finale, or the, the dessert, the sweet dessert. Guys, we don't know if it's going to be this year. We don't know if it's going to be next year. We don't know if it's going to be the year after that. The year after that. But when you see a catastrophe, when you see an abomination, when you see something terrible happen, look at that bastard. Just know God has served me desserts. <laughs> I will enjoy myself sorry guys just uh, think i'm enjoying this way too much isn't it so anyways like i said you know god be with you mirage you know like i said it will be okay sweetheart it will be okay yeah yeah we've had our you know you need you deserve to suffer small small because we did but like i said it's not the end of the world life moves on sweetheart life moves on you'll be okay i think it, it's not it's, it's not my business like well how do i don't know if he'll be okay i think he'll be okay like i said nobody died so um yeah please if if, if any of his supporters are watching this on a real serious not let me be serious for two seconds yeah just make sure you, you guys can make sure, check on him because yeah we don't want him to unalive himself you know anyway um what's the last thing i want to say do i want to comment on the apology video 
Hmm. It's not my business. You guys, you see, it's sad that happened to him. Of course, it's very devastating. It's not really my business because my beef was just the hypoc hypocrisy because you were very judgmental to me. Um, and, you know, so I just thought I didn't need to touch on that. It's not my business. Of course, that is sad. I hope you heal from that. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a hypocrisy. That's it for me. For me, it's just a hypocrisy. It's the cancellation of others. That's that's all it is. I think going forward, if you still have that that oh yes, I know what I was gonna say. Some people, I feel like some people in this comment section, some people might think, hold on a minute, but he changed his tune on you. He was on your side with the Mark and Esther thing. I'm just gonna. I want to end the video with this. Yeah. So this is the last point I'm gonna make to do with that particular issue. Everybody and their grandma kind of follows the the train whatever the general consensus is people usually follow the train and i feel like he does especially with black people whatever the general consensus on twitter is it's usually his view um i i think it was it would have been difficult for him to go against the grain and cuss me when i was a victim of um what do you call it revenge porn so i feel i think it's very very difficult for him to have judged me so i feel like he just did what he was easiest i don't i don't think Murad particularly liked me if he did then pff, who knows um I personally forgive him for the past the thing is with me I'm just petty and I don't forget so I feel like I had to get my one up but if I this is this is gonna sound might sound strange to you but if me and him had a conversation I could probably be his friend like next week I'm very forgiving I am the most forgiving person on the planet I just want an apology or I just want a rec some recognition of what happened in the past I move on from stuff um once it's it's actually properly been like I'm sorry in it by bad like on sincere and stuff so um yeah for me I feel like if this is just how I feel I might be wrong I just I don't feel like he's ever liked me and I don't feel like he backed me because he had to I just think that he went with the general consensus on Twitter and I feel like he always does if I get heat next week and he hadn't gone through this scandal I feel like he'll be dragging me right there again I don't think he ever gives people the benefit of the doubt I don't think he ever thinks about it from different perspectives and angles I don't I don't think that um that's that's it that's what I have to say on the matter and this video was a bit weird wasn't it I thought I was gonna put my phone, like pick up my phone, go through my phone and put up some con put up some content. Um, during the video, I might do voiceovers and add bits in there because I was gonna do it with you guys. I was gonna like go on my phone and react to stuff, but I really didn't need to. I just had the time of my life and had a giggle, and um, yeah, really enjoyed filming this video. Fucking hell! But yeah, guys, now, um, guys, do not do not forget if you have any tips on me going um to do this thing where i'm not allowed anything i don't think you guys understand i'm not allowed anything okay no gloss no glue you can go as you are but i'm not allowed anything so if you guys have any tips on like really strong eyelash glue or the my skin what i should like what i should do to my skin now to make it perfection let me know okay but yeah, love y'all and peace out.